Nyx just got a massive buff in the Wild Horde update, and it's all thanks to the item that you would least expect. I am, of course, talking about Arcane Warding. This item actually buffs Nyx in a massive way, and if you watched my recent video explaining the difference between Arcane Warding and Armor Plating, then you'll kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. My. There it is, and I have taken... That looks promising. That looks really promising. I'm going to jump off the map. I'm going to jump off the map. That'll tell me on the death card now. An extra I took 368 damage from the Royal Mario. Presence. I converted the Fire Spit that does 900 damage down to just 368. You see, Arcane Warding makes it so you take 36% less damage from abilities. And the key thing is, it includes your own. So what we can do with Nyx is we can buy Arcane Warding, and we can actually make it so we take 36% less damage from all the damage that is absorbed by a Royal Presence. And the reason why this works is because, well, Royal Presence takes all the incoming damage from enemies and converts it into ability damage because it's spreading that damage out over four seconds, right? So this will basically give us a bunch of damage reduction and turn Royal Presence into a very tanky ability. But the real awesome thing about this is that it actually double dips. So, if we take damage from an enemy's ability, like let's say a Drogo's Fire Spit, that will be reduced by 36%, and then, after it gets converted into Royal Presence damage, it'll be reduced by another 36%. And the way the math works out leaves us with about 59% damage reduction versus abilities when we max out Arcane Warding. This is absolutely insane. And it works the exact same way with Armor Plating. If we max out Armor Plating, any incoming weapon damage will be reduced by 24%, and then that will be reduced by another 36% when it gets converted into ability damage from Royal Presence. So if we max out both of these items with Nyx and then use Royal Presence, Come. we're looking at anywhere between 50 to 60% damage reduction. That is insane. So, we're going to test this in a real match to see just how strong it really is. The big thing with this build is that it does require a lot of ramp up, right? It requires a major credit investment, because we've got to max out both DR items to truly make the double dipping just as insane as possible. So, we're going to use this with a regular build. We're going to grab Show of Force, and we're going to use my Radius Tank build. This just has max HP and max radius of the Poison Aura, so that way we can be as tanky as possible, and we can also apply the poison to as many people as possible. This is good because it applies consistent damage pressure to the enemies, it constantly keeps them in combat, but it also makes it so that we generate our ultimate faster because it's constantly doing damage to the enemies, you know? So yeah, it's a pretty nice build. We'll grab this, and then we're actually going to start this match with Horde, because, like I said, we need a ton of credits, and we're also going to be buying Chronos for the maximum uptime on the Royal Presence, and so we really just need every single credit that we can get. We're going to rush Horde 3, and then from there, we should be able to ramp up the items a lot quicker. The downside to doing it this way is, of course, that at the start of the match here, I'm not actually taking advantage of the buff, so it's going to be a bit harder for us. But yeah, let's head out here, and let me throw this cripple out. Hooray! And let me pop the Royal Presence Aura just so we can get the poison going. There we go. And yeah, we do have to be careful here because, yeah, like I said, we have no damage reduction. So, yeah, just want to play it a bit safe. I'll throw that right there. Oh, that got stuck on the wall. Okay. <laughs> he tried to hook me into the well. I went into the uh, the wall instead. That's brilliant. All right, let's get a shield here. I'm just going to continue to hold the point. Uh, we got Talos over here. Cripple misses because he actually just teleported away. Okay. Let me just enforce my royal presence on the center of this point and... Uh, let's be careful here for a moment. Let me throw that out there. We got ray heals. Let me throw a shield in the center point here. <laughs> I'm just being a point tank. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm letting Khan do his thing on the off tank. Job. There we go. Got the Makoa. Corvus is over there. I can't really do anything to him right now. But it looks like we're going to cap here. Do they have overtime? No, they don't. All right, we got it. Perfect. Khan can absolutely start pushing the payload. Let me pop the Royal Presence here. Can't save the on. Mighty unfortunate, but I can throw the Cripple out. And now look at that, we have 740 credits. I actually low-key kind of want to go back to spawn real quick, so... I'm not going to throw necessarily, but I'll play ridiculously aggressive. Yeah, thank you, Makoa. There we go, I should go back to spawn any second now. Never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. You know what? Let me pop a Royal Presence, let me walk at him. <laughs> Let's see, can they kill me? Can they, can they, can they kill me? No, I'm alive? 
<laughs> okay, I guess I'm not going back to spawn to buy a horde then. Oh boy. Ah, kind of sucks when you win too hard, it, uh, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let me pop around here, and because let me throw the crippler up at them. I'm still going to play ridiculously aggressive. Let's get a shield here, and make a bunch of space. Okay, Drogos is dead. Oh no! I got hooked and stunned? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I died. Okay, anyways, board three. <laughs> and now... I can maximize my credit gain, and I'm going to start buying Arcane Warding. I want to get Horde Online as soon as possible. That's why I'm so okay with dying there, right? Because the sooner we get that, the faster we make our money back. And yeah, already we're going to have 12% damage reduction during this ability. And uh, if they hit me with ability damage, like Victor's Grenade, that's going to be reduced by another 12%. So 12% and then 12%. There are diminishing returns. That's why, when we did the calculations earlier, we're not exactly getting, you know, uh, what is it? 72% damage reduction, I think it should be? Just doubling it, right? That's because we're reducing it by 36%, or in this case, 12% one time. And then we're taking that diminished value and reducing it again by the same percent. So, yeah. It's uh, multiplicative, but in that case, being multiplicative actually means that there are diminishing returns. If it were just additive, right, stacking 36 on 36, it'd actually be a lot stronger. Alright, let me throw this out. Well, I took a bunch of damage from the ultimate, but sadly my royal presence expired. That's another thing where, once I max out Arcane Warding, Victor's ultimate is going to do nothing to me. Because we're going to be reducing the damage by 60% as long as Royal Presence is up. Spreading the damage out over 4 seconds, and then if I'm also on the point, Ray's going to heal that up much faster. It's a really cool combo, honestly. Oh, Khan's just dead. Alright, let me put the shield down. If they shoot it, I should get some credits for shielding. Uh, or at least get closer to the next threshold for it. I'm just going to tank damage. Oh yeah, look at me. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. So we are about halfway to Arcane Warding level 3. That is awesome. And uh, once we have that done, then I'll start to get some armor plating. Or maybe if I feel the need to, I'll get some Chronos. But I am kind of leaning more towards armor plating next, because a lot of their damage comes from weapon damage. And so I want to double dip with that a lot. Victor does a lot of sustained damage, although he is playing Shrapnel, so that's going to hurt uh, with Arcane Warding, right? Uh, but most of Talos' damage also comes from his weapons. Same, actually, from Akoa and even Corvus, although... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Nice. Four, but uh, yeah, all, uh, Corvus's stunning four, visage will actually be uh, ability damage as well, so, um, you know, they have a lot of weapon damage, but the talents they're choosing are actually meaning that they have a good split of ability damage as well, and that is excellent for this playstyle. That's exactly what I want. Let me pop this, and I'm just going to take some damage on point here. And you'll notice already how much tank you feel. It is pretty awesome. Okay, my abilities are down now, though, so I want to be careful. Uh, that is where Kronos would be nice, right? I have my ultimate. That's the only thing, you know, it will apply some damage reduction. But what's, like, doubly, or triply, or quadruply, I don't even know how many multiplication uh, tables we're doing here, but, um, <laughs> uh, one thing that's additionally really good about this is if we take too much purple damage, we can cleanse it with the ultimate, right? So, if somehow, with 36% damage reduction and then double dipping, they still you know, turn my entire health bar purple, my ultimate will instantly cleanse all that, and then they're going to have to do all of that again. <laughs> Which basically gives us a second life on top of our ridiculous damage reduction. I mean, it just gets crazier and crazier due to all the synergies Nyx has with her abilities. And also, keep in mind, with the max health card, we have 5,450 health. So, you know, 60% damage reduction on top of that will be close to 10,000 effective hit points. <laughs> it's just... It's absurd. Especially considering we have all of this ability, uh, all of Nyx's abilities to do a bunch of damage and also do a bunch of crowd control. I should be dead right now, by the way, but that damage reduction saved me long enough that Ray can heal me now. Let's go. Thank you. I'm gonna still stand near the point and just wait for my ability to come back. Alright, I can go in now. Let me pop ability. Let's just go to town. Yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling, bro. We're chilling. Makoa, you can't kill me. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, maybe not. You can. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shield dance. Oh, I have rail. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, just stack this with a rail. Why the heck not? Seems perfectly reasonable. Totally fair and balanced for the enemy team. Alright, I got this back up. Let's see how it feels. Alright, we do that, but then we can cleanse it. Stun Corvus in the process. Let's get a shield back here. We lived that, but I think I am finally going to fall here because my shield is down. Yeah, okay. But I can go back to spawn. I can max out Arcane Warding. 
I think I will actually skip towards Kronos. I think ability uptime is more important for me here. They're buying Wrecker and really destroying my shield because we also have Khan on the team. And so, yeah, I actually really need to have my Royal Presence back faster as a result of that shield busting, right? So uh, let's head back up here. Let me pop poison and let's just go to town. Let me cripple you just because I can. I actually, they barely even focused me during all that, so I'm actually going to walk it back because our DPS are down. We'll throw a shield here. Let's just run away. Oh, crap. Ha! <laughs> the wall works out in my favor again. Yes, this poor turtle. He just keeps getting really unlucky. All right, I pop this. I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. I'm so chilling. I'm so chilling. Okay, they filled up my bar with purple, but um, it would definitely be, like, overflowing with purple without the damage reduction. Sadly, they're still dead. We just... We didn't really have a lot of presence out there right there with, you know, both our damage champions being down and only just getting back to the fight right when I was out of all my abilities. This definitely doesn't make Nyx immortal, but it does make her ridiculously strong. I mean, <laughs> if you really want to, like, compare this to other tank abilities, right? Mother's Grace, that is, um... Did it get nerfed to 40% damage reduction? I'm pretty sure it did. Used to be 50%, though. This will give us 50% when we max out the items. Uh, against weapon damage, and 60% against ability damage. And that is before... Did I cancel it? No, I didn't. Okay. But that is before getting the ability to cleanse all that damage with the ultimate, and that is also with Nyx's superior damage-dealing skills, and the fact that she spreads it out to damage over time, and then can heal that back up much easier with her healer, right? So that's just, like, multiple sources of stat can be stronger than Mother's Grace. The only thing she's lacking is CC immunity. But then also... Let's compare that to Yagaroth, right? She's all about damage reduction. She is the DR character in Harding. What does she get? Is it 50, 60% damage reduction? Something like that? But she can't move, and she can't attack, and she's the largest character in the game. I can walk around with that. 60% damage reduction versus abilities, and I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm just... I'm A-OK. -okay. And, uh, yeah. Again, all of the damage dealing skills, survival skills on top of that. It really is menacing. And now we're in the late stages of this build. We've just got Armor Plating 2. That's going to be 16% damage reduction. And then that 16% damage reduction will be reduced by a further 36% damage reduction. So double dipping on weapon damage now too. And we have Kronos for maximum Royal Presence uptime. The real deciding factor of winning this game at this point is not going to be if I can live or not. Is what, It's going to be whether or not we can actually kill the enemies um, faster than they can kill us, right? Uh, or more effectively, should I say, because my teammates don't have this same powerful damage reduction that I do. Oh no! Guys, he hit me with Barrage. <sighs> Barely noticed it. Anyways, let's punch Talos. Drogo's is popping off right now, heck yeah. Let me throw that over there to try and help. Sadly, he's dead. Let me get a shield here for Khan. Uh-oh. Talos, please stop. Me. Shoot me instead. Yeah, 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 shoot me instead. Shoot me instead. It's fine. It's fine! We're chilling. I'm just gonna let Ray heal all that back. My abilities are down now, but that's okay. We still have control at this point, and I can get a shield down now. That should buy enough time for my Royal Presence to come back, and then I have ult. I'm just going to walk at him. All right, let's go. Let's just walk at him. Hi, guys. You can't kill me. Nana, nana, boo, boo. They're not even getting my purple health, like, filled up at all. There wasn't even that much for me to cleanse, and I just walked into the entire enemy team. What the heck? Okay, here, take this. Okay, he's gone, and we should rule this point right now. Drogos is doing an excellent job. Leon came back and finished some kills. I'll just stand here. There's no way they can kill me on this point right now if they come back. They don't even have touch. <laughs> Life is so easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, this is insane now that we've ramped this up. I mean, I am amazed with how little purple health I'm getting. <laughs> uh, it feels slightly weird to use my ult to cleanse the purple health because, like... I mean, yeah, it's helpful, but just, like, it feels relatively like that's not that much purple health. Okay, now my bar is filled up. Now I'm taking a lot of damage. Now I kind of wish I had my ultimate. Is she going to heal me back up? Oh, she's going to ult me. Okay, there we go, and we live that. Nice. Huge damage reduction and heals with the ray. All right, I got the shield here. We're just going to play it safe for a moment. I've got my royal presence back now. Ooh, but Drogo's is dead. I think I can still just go in here and make some space. Feed me and my purple health. <laughs> Hello, Talus. Uh, I'll throw that back there. I can't really do anything about it right now. Let's get a shield down. He's back. And I'm gonna have Royal Presence again soon. I really want to get Chronos 3 to max this out. Please dump it on me. <laughs> that was the smallest little bit of purple health. Okay, we need to be careful, though. We lost our ray. 
Uh oh, I'm walking back through this Corvusol. Why am I by here? Apparently I killed him with the poison though. Okay. Getting huge value from the radius card. That's why we run it. Yes. Um, and now I can max out Kronos, and guess what? I am 300 credits away right now, less than 300 credits away right now from maxing out this build. And we are going to be the strongest point tank Nyx has ever been with all this damage reduction. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Okay, I've got this ready to go. I suppose I charged up a bit early. I thought they were a bit farther ahead. Um, I guess I'm just going to be a massive distraction. Oh, they got our Drogos again. Okay, well, let me cleanse all that real quick. I think I'm up too far, though. I'm up too far for my own good. Got the shield down, raised back. Oh, my shield is dead. He... I just died to Luna. I really just died to Luna. Oh, no. It was so close. If I had more armor plating, I might have lived that. All right, there we go. Armor plating maxed out. We have officially maxed out the build. Let's see how tanky we are now back on this point. They're having to do just so much damage to me. And the thing is, they don't realize how much damage they're having to do, right? Because... They still see just the diminished value from the regular number before it double dips. They only see the single dip number. But then I see the double dip number when I see how much damage I take from my Royal Presence, right? So they don't even realize how hard it is to kill me. I mean, they certainly feel like something's amiss, but their damage numbers aren't telling them the full story, and I think that's really neat. Okay, she's going to miss that. I'm just going to continue to hold on right now. Let me put the shield down just because I am so low. Ray's back finally, but it's a little bit too late. Drogos with the triple kill, though. He gets three. Ray just can't hold on. That is so unfortunate. Our Drogos is really popping off, man. Holy crap. So it all comes down to this, the final point fight. Will this tank build be enough to actually secure us the game? Well... I think as long as I play reasonably smartly, and I make sure we're protecting the ray, we should be good. You notice, most of the time when I'm dying, it's because I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm being foolishly aggressive. Or, ray is dead. Because no matter how much damage reduction you have, if you have no sustain to heal it back up, you're still gonna die, right? So, we need this ray. She is pivotal. And you can imagine, by the way, uh, this ray's doing an excellent job. Uh, I just want to say that. But, at the end of the day, ray's not a super huge heal bot. Can you imagine if this was paired with someone like Ying or Lilith? Yeah, nigh unkillable. And we don't even need Rejuve, because, hey, guess what? Nyx has that as a passive. Just on the point, I get increased healing. So we're chilling. Let me just walk over here. I feel like they're not doing a good job of focusing me, and we're just going to take out the Vic. Makoa's dead. He still has his ultimate, I think. Right? I don't know. Pretty sure he does. We're going to act like he does, just because... Yeah, that's the safest thing to assume. And I live that on 169 HP. I would be dead right now if I didn't have this build. Alright, let's just heal up. Thank you, Ray. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've got my slow ready. Alright, we've got Makoa over here. Yeah, I challenge Makoa. I challenge Makoa. I'm going to stand right in your face. I'm going to stand right in your face. We pop this. Ooh, Corvus teleported right into it. He's going to use this ult, though. Oh, I am going to die here. Oh, crap. We lost most of our team there. That's actually really bad. Talos is going for the chase. I think his ultimate canceled. Yeah, he didn't target anybody. Okay. That's good. We need to keep these guys alive. We're really spread out right now. Khan gets a kill, but he trades for it. But that is their tank down. That's huge. All right, I'm going to just walk. I'm walking here. Yes. I will be... The unyielding pressure that will not relent until it is destroyed. I will make space for my team, and they clean up the kills. Who's contesting right now? Someone's still contesting. Where are they? I don't see them. Oh, Makoa's here. All right. Oh, he just... Talos just wiped Leon. He's back here. All right, let's punch him in the face. My royal presence is down. Let's get the shield on point to help protect the team as well. Drogos goes in on the Talos, gets the kill. Nice. We throw this slow. Makoa should die here. He is looking so low. There we go. He's dead. I've got my royal presence back. I'm just going to walk in their faces. I don't care that you stun me. I don't even need Rezo because I'm just so tanky. Die, Vic. Yes. And that is... Ooh! Ooh! Just barely a victory. That talus. I feel so bad for that guy. That was a brilliant play, but just a fraction of a second too late. Oh my goodness gracious. What a riveting end to that match. Anyways, let's take a look at the stats here. I actually went negative, and I died more than Khan. That's kind of the interesting thing here. I think part of that can be chalked up to my positioning, because I was intentionally playing 
very aggressively there. So, yeah, a, a bit of maybe a mishap on my end. Our raid did amazing. 109, uh, 198,000 healing. That is excellent. Again, I have to propose, though, what if we had, like, a really good heal bot? Uh, you know, a proper heal bot. Ray is a utility character, but, you know, someone who just puts gobs of healing on the point? I wonder how that would have felt. That sounds pretty insane. We were also able to do 113,000 damage there, which is uh, pretty much tying the top damage on our team. That's uh, in part thanks to the Poison Radius card giving us that increased application, but also, even though Nyx, the impact of the damage might not feel that, you know, significant sometimes... It's just really consistent damage. You know, you have the punches, you have the poison, you have the slow. All of that's working together to ultimately give you a bunch of, um, you know, assists and uh, just a lot of uh, consistent pressure on the enemies. And that actually also reflects in our assist count. If we're comparing between me and Khan right now, we both got the same amount of killing blows. I died a little bit more, again, partly thanks to my positioning, the fact that I was playing so arrogantly and aggressively there. But look at the difference in assists. <laughs> That's another great thing about Nyx and that poison aura, man. And you know what? Those extra eliminations lead to extra credits, which is another great way to help ramp up this build. So, yeah, I really like this loadout in particular, and I think it's definitely worth buying Arcane Warding on Nyx. You don't necessarily have to go all in on all of this double dipping and damage reduction and just craziness like I did that match. You could potentially tone it back a bit, maybe just by Arcane Warding and Kronos and then go for Rejuve or go for Nimble or something like that, right? But the key point is that if you do buy Arcane Warding, it will give you 36% damage reduction on your Royal Presence, and it will double dip on any ability damage that they deal to you. And uh, that is a very cool synergy and a very cool new sort of tech that Nyx can do that, for any Nyx mains out there, it's definitely worth looking into. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.